Hello, Real Talkers. On January 29, 2020, Carolyn Eschtandler was sworn in as Federal Minister for the EU and Constitution at the Federal Chancellery by President Alexander van der Bellen. Thank you, Minister Eschtandler, for taking the time and your busy schedule to talk to us at Davos Sheva and be a guest on Real Talk. Mrs. Minister, I just came back from a trip to Vienna. I have received very positive vibes from the Jewish community regarding the actual Austrian government and being so pro-Jews. Is that so? We are very engaged in the fight against anti-Semitism. And I recently had the honor to meet the president of the State of Israel uh, at, at my recent uh, visit to Israel. And we had a really good talk. And I had the chance also to present to him what Austria is doing and that there are really big things like, for example, the walls of memories, the walls of names uh, with, in the middle of uh, the city of Vienna, where we carved 64,414 names of Jewish children, women and men in stone to give them back their name and at least a part of their dignity. I think that's really important that we are doing that, that uh, commemorative uh, work, but it is also important to support a flourish, flourishing Jewish life in Austria. And again, I'm really happy if you're getting this positive feedback. Did you enjoy your visit to Israel? Yes, I, I'm always enjoying my visits uh, to Israel. I feel, and I expressed it so often, I feel different when I'm going to Israel. I don't know why. I don't have an explanation. I'm not a Jew. Um, but if I'm coming to Israel, whenever I'm coming to Israel, I feel this is the right place to be. And um, this was my fourth visit uh, to Israel, and um, it was very intensive, and I had the, the honor to get to know the president of the state of Israel. And it was so good to have this exchange, but also to have the chance to show that Austria is very engaged in the fight uh, against anti-Semitism. Very often, People ask if we are as engaged as Germany, for example. And I would say we are really on the forefront when it comes to the member states of the European Union. And of course, this is because we have a historic burden on our shoulders. But we know this responsibility. We are taking this responsibility. And I'm really happy if this feedback is also coming back. I have visited the beautiful synagogue and those 65,000 names inscribed of those that were deported. Vienna is so beautiful, it's so scary. I could hear still the sound of the boots of the German soldiers marching down those gorgeous streets. You and all of Europe have to make sure every single day that as we say to our children, never again. From the bottom of my heart, this is what I want to do. And uh, I will fight against anti-Semitism as long as I can fight, no matter in which position I am. And I think I already showed that um, now I'm doing that as a politician, but I did it already uh, when I was working in the Ministry of Justice. And today, for example, I had the honor to present a new law and an adoption to the law um, when it comes uh, to glorification of uh, the Nazi regime. And I think these are very concrete steps where we, and you can see that we are engaged. And by the way, I would say the bilateral relation between Austria and Israel has never been better than these days. And we were constantly working on that. And we are partner of this democratic state and I know very well that this is a very important thing for you because you are situated in a region in competitive um, among uh, neighboring states who want to vanish you from the landscape and that is where we come into play and we really want to show also within the European Union that you as a state you're really important for us as a democratic partner in this region. Before the war, most of the Jews were wealthy and professionals, and they're gone. Now, in 2022, we can say that the Jewish community in Vienna is flourishing again. There are plenty of synagogues and kosher restaurants, but it needs to grow. Where do you see the Jewish community in the future? Many of the Jewish people are moving to Israel. Are you going to fight to keep it growing and flourish? You can never do enough and you always have to do more also to uh, to get the uh, Jews uh, to Austria, to Vienna. And you can only have a Jewish school or a Jewish restaurant if you have um, 
yeah, enough people uh, who are using these institutions also. So it is important that we get truth also to Austria. I'm personal, personally always really touched when I get to talk to people who are in Austria for the first time, for example, after the Holocaust, or who heard from their mothers, fathers, grandfathers uh, and, and mothers that Austria was playing a really ugly role uh, during the darkest chapters of our history. And then, and I get goosebumps over and over when I'm talking about, then they are coming and they are telling me, come on, this is a different Austria. This is a different Vienna. This is a different also Salzburg, for example, where I'm coming from originally. And this is what we want to show the world. And we have to work together that people are also living their lives here. And here I'm engaged together also with the president of the Jewish community to do so. I just interviewed a social media star, Montana Tucker in LA, who happens to be Jewish, though you've never know. And she decided to take a trip to Poland, Auschwitz, and document it, inspiring so many of her millions of followers to say no to antisemitism and to educate instead of hate. Especially now when all these celebrities are coming out with anti-Semitic attacks on social media. Is that something you think you could do? Yeah, that's true. That's also one of the main pillars of our national strategy against anti-Semitism, to have education uh, there, to teach the teachers, to have an exchange, for example, uh, with Yad Vashem, uh, to bring people to Yad Vashem, but also bringing people to Austria, where we do have the former concentration camp of Mauthausen, for which I was responsible in my former uh, position as a deputy minister in the Ministry of the Interior, for example. Um, we have to do everything that we can do to sensitize the young generation, to show them that it is important to know what they are talking about, that there can't be any uh, form of bad stories and then and, and, and they're thinking this is funny. So we really have the need to put education very high on the agenda and that's what we are doing with several measures among our 37 measures in the national strategy. So I shouldn't be worried to walk around Vienna with a big uh, David star on my neck? No, you should not. You should not be afraid uh, of wearing a kippah, uh, for example, uh, in Vienna or in Austria. And we know that there are capitals uh, in the European Union where also the Jewish community um, is expressing their concerns of wearing uh, Jewish symbols in the public. So in Austria, you normally have no issue with that. And we saw uh, that the incidences, the anti-Semitic incidences decreased slightly. But this is not uh, something we can celebrate because we know that there is still a lot of work ahead. Talking about the David Stern, um, we know that the so-called Judenstern, which was misused uh, by the Nazi regime, played an important role for those uh, who were against COVID measures during uh, the demonstrations. And this was also something that the Minister of Justice and I discussed today when we presented um, the work of a group who told us how we can bring the law, which is forbidding the national uh, the glorification of the Nazi regime, how we can do it more efficiently. And I think we are really on the way to set some measures that here we can make a clear point that here judges and prosecutors and also the police know how they can handle that and what to do. What do you wish the incoming new government in Israel? The biggest success, uh, stability for the people living in Israel, but also good relations to Europe, uh, to countries like Austria, of course. I hope that we uh, can uh, preserve uh, the good bilateral cooperation with Israel and well, I hope that uh, the next ele elections take place only in many years. Minister, thank you so much and hope to welcome you soon in Israel and in our studio. Thank you again. Thank you so much. All the best and greetings to Israel. Thank you, Real Talkers, and hope you have a good time. <laughs>